or go to math.com need to mention that um, we're doing some calculus we're differentiating in this section and we're looking at inverse functions and uh, finding the derivative of an inverse function when a is equal to 23 and let's try to get the rest of this on the screen here so I'm basically going over the mechanics um, these were the introductions kind of leading up to uh, this if you haven't uh, watched any of these and I would probably start here they're in a sequence um, so let's go ahead and move on over to the whiteboard and follow the same procedures that I've been following in the other two problems in the same section so we're given asked first I'm just going to write this we're asked to find the derivative well we're not actually finding the derivative okay we're just evaluating the derivative the inverse the derivative of the inverse at a particular uh, uh, point and um, where a is equal to 23 and we are given the function f of x we are given the function f of x and that happens to be x cubed plus x minus 7 All right. and we want to follow this formula here um, and I'm not really going into the details on this formula you need to read or uh, do push button one, two, and three to see kind of what's going on here. Uh, one over f prime of f inverse of a. All right, this is what we need to. Uh, first thing we're going to find this guy right here, and the way this works is this is f of b because these are this is the inverse we can do this of a is equal to b all right since they're inverse functions plug b into the function get a out plug a into the function and get b out right properties of the uh, inverse functions now this one right here all right this one right here a we're given a okay we're given a and we're given the function f and so I'm going to take b and just plug it in so b cubed plus b minus 7 and set it equal to a and a is 23 alright now we need to find what is b now this may be kinda of difficult to solve for b in this problem especially if that was an 8 or a 7 or whatever so what we're gonna do here is, is we're just gonna kinda of let b equal 1 then b equal 2 in other words plug 1 in so 1 plus 1 is 2 2 minus 7 is negative 5 and no that's not it right that's not it so how about we plug in um, let's see 23 let's plug in 3 3 that'd be 27, 28, 29, 30 and uh, 30 minus 7 is 23 right yeah so B is actually cross those out B is actually 3 okay so that's how we found what B is B is 3 alright and so now that we know that B is 3 okay F inverse looking at the formula right here we can substitute all that in right there for 3 we substitute all that in for 3 so that's 1 over f prime of 3 but let's find f prime that's going to be 3 times x squared plus 1 so then we just plug it in 3 times 3 squared plus 1 it's 27 28 there we go, 1 over 28. So this is 1 over 28. All right, that's our answer. So there you go. Had to kind of work that fast. We're running out of time here. You'll want to click on the help button over here to see uh, how that's actually worked out. All right, go to math. See you there. Bye.